I'm like a raccoon in the garage. So this was an acorn, but is now a tiny little oak tree, and I am going to show you how to grow one yourself. So when collecting your acorns, make sure you avoid picking up any that have cracks in them. But once you've got them, put them in water. If any of them float, chuck them out. But the ones that are at the bottom, let them soak for 48 hours. After 48 hours, grab them out and put them in some damp paper towel, put it in a Ziploc bag, and let them sit for a couple of weeks. And then there'll be a little root, and then it's ready to put in water. They will just grow if you put them in soil, but this is a fun way to do it if you want to grow them in water. Will a monstera without leaves grow? This monstera had root rot. I removed the rotting roots and put it in water. It started developing new roots. I learned that new leaves can grow out of the axillary bud. Look at how the leaves grow towards the light. I turned it around so it wouldn't bend. Fresh start. You are not going to believe what happens when you give a plant coffee instead of water. <laughs> Hi friends, so this is how I made the plant hanger above my kitchen sink. You can get wood like this in your backyard or craft store like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I drilled some holes and I put these hooks in. You can get the hooks at Walmart. This is the final product and it makes watering my plants so much easier. I just water them and place them right on one of the hooks and all the water just drains right into my sink. So easy and so convenient. Let me know if you make one. $11.99. <laughs> 50 bucks. Oh my god. <laughs> Why don't what even is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's Amber. <laughs> Amber's pretty cool. She's 50 bucks. <laughs> I'd pay $50 for that. You would pay $50 for that. That seems like it's pretty cool. Like... What is the kill in itself, Justin? It's pretty ugly. It's about five. <laughs> 19 and some change. You paid way too much. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Hundred? <laughs> I had no idea. I'm so far off. <laughs> Five? Did I get it? No. Oh, come on. You can't do me like that. Fifteen. Three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Who makes these prices? No. Well, that's for the ugly, too. Well, don't count in the pots. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Two dollars? Is this the one that you cried over? <laughs> oh, I know that one. <laughs> yeah, you severed its limbs. I didn't mean to, we're good now. I don't know. Fourteen? <laughs> Five bucks. Why were you so mad then? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I could have bought you because another one! <laughs> because it's my baby! Two. Five. Three. Fifteen. 50 bucks. What? That one was 25. <laughs> that one was 25. How's that one 50? It's smaller and it looks weird. $55. What popular house plants look like in the wild? Part 2. Introverted can't make friends Pray for better days Now it's 300k when my day ends Do you remember last night? Cause I blacked out In that all white dress with a back out Said be careful with a heart cause it's fragile In conversation We lose track of time Have I told you lately I'm grateful you're mine We'll watch the notebook Five reasons why you should put a snake plant in your bedroom Number one, according to NASA's clean air study, some plants are better at producing oxygen and snake plants are considered to be one of the highest oxygen producing plants. Number two, most plants only produce oxygen during the day. Snake plants are one of the few plants that continues to produce oxygen at night, which helps with better sleep. Number three, snake plants remove harmful toxins like pollutants that can be found in cleaning supplies and regular household products, which means they're also great at combating allergies.
Number four, they're super easy to take care of and can thrive in any kind of lighting scenario and don't require a lot of water. And number five, they're aesthetically pleasing. Carnivorous plants are amazing. Fuck off. I'm the trash man. I come out, I throw trash all over the, all over the ring. And then I start Another reason your plants continue to die is using pots that don't have drainage holes. It's important to choose pots that have drainage holes. Why? Because if they don't have, it means water will go down and stay there and your roots will start to decay and over time your plant will die. No. And I know sometimes maybe you're using two pots and the others for decoration. That's fine. Then you can use this idea. Take some paper towels and put them in the pot that doesn't have drainage holes and then put your plant. <laughs> that way when you water, the towel will absorb the water. So I got this lush bar of soap and Camera flashing, please step back, it's my style, you're cramping You here for long, go no, I'm just passing Do you wanna drink? Nah, thanks for asking Don't act like you know me, like you know me Oh, this is rich, look at this Huh. Oh, look who it is. Look who it is. What? Oh, oh, thank you so much for bringing us the water. <laughs> Except it's too late. It's too far too late. What, what do you mean? What are you talking about? We've been waiting so long. So long. And Greg's dead. He's dead. Yeah, I died. I'm dead. Yeah, see, he's, oh, wait, wait a second. Greg, you're alive? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I, I haven't been so thirsty. I haven't just been sleeping. I thought you were dead. What's going on here? We have been so thirsty. And I thought Greg had died. I have just been sleeping because I am so thirsty. We need water, man. Oh, my God. Day 5 of growing Chia out of my Spencer's pot. They're growing a little weird, but that's okay. Mrs. Cub is doing very well. I can't wait to go back and get more SXD pots. Just look how hot she is grown, all out. Show you then show what you created. Desperado. Baby, if you give it to me.
me, I'll give it to you. I know what you want. You know I got a baby if you give it to me. I'll give it to you. As long as you want, you know I got a baby. Things. So the first thing that I got is this penis cactus. I'm sorry, what was that? That's right. Penis cactus. Because size matters. And anyone that tells you that it doesn't has been lying to you. These will continue to grow. They'll actually spread and go very nicely into a bush. These have all been freshly <clears throat> cut and they're ready to grow their roots. Fun fact, there's actually a gigantic version of them as well and they don't have a lot of spine. Like a prick without a poke. And don't worry, we have a sense of humor. This is a boob cactus. I mean, we're not playing with plants all day. Yeah.